everybody in this room knows a, 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 a great lady named Prudy Pickway. Prudence is a person that whenever anybody needs something in the city, likely you're going to go to Pick Heaters and talk to Prudy. Prudy is one of the most generous people that the city of West Bend has ever seen. So she is a friend to this association. So when we sat together and talked about how could we honor Prudy, um, we decided that we wanted to um, name an award after her to show up and comers, people that in the community that give back, do great things to give back to this game. And we named the award after her. So this is the first year we're going to be giving it. Um, and it is only fitting that the person that's getting it tonight, um, Jed Justman, is going to be getting the honor tonight, the first person. Jed uh, started playing this game about 20 years ago in Land Lakes, And what many people don't know is that Jed comes from a family of givers. His dad was in a local politician. Bob Bonnie would take her shirt off the back, help out anybody in need, and didn't fall far from Jed. The only difference between Jed and a lot of people is Jed doesn't go around and beat his chest about it. He just does it. And uh, Jed is one of the most kind-hearted people behind a very tough exterior uh, that I've ever met. So when he's getting this award tonight, he's probably going to ruin his rep. Um, he's, if you ask many of the people here in Land of Lakes, uh, Johnny Travis will let you know that he's probably the most popular person in Land of Lakes baseball. But he's one of my favorite people in this walking this earth. What Jed did last year, um, and we'll get into a lot of what we did with the fundraising with the Land of Lakes Western Division last year, um, raising money for um, a children's hospital fundraiser that we did for Travis's um, wife who tragically passed away last summer was spearheaded by Jed and his wife Randy, especially in West Bend community. And they raised the most money and the most um, mm -hmm. toys that have all the 14 teams that we have in Land Lakes. So at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce and award the first ever Pretty Pick Way <coughs> Community Service Award to Jed Justman. say anything tonight, Craig. I appreciate that. Thank you. Much like uh, your hero, Brett Favre, I did not come prepared with a speech. Uh, but Travis, uh, I'm, I'm sure those words would never come out of your mouth. I apologize for all the crap that I probably did to you. I got mine written down. <laughs> uh, back in the day, but um, I've been playing baseball in West Bend for 30 out of my 36 years. Uh, ironically, probably about three to four years ago, I guess, first of all, I, if you would have asked any, anybody that knows me or my family or friends, they probably would never have said that I was going to win a philanthropic award. Um, and it probably took me about four years ago to finally mature. Uh, but the one other thing that I'd probably say is a lot of that had to do with my wife, Randy, who uh, specifically told me not to call her out tonight if Craig did ask me to speak, but uh, in the 11 years that we've been married, I haven't listened yet, so why start now? Um, so uh, I, I was not born with empathy, so thank you, for Randy, for, for passing that along to me. But I think it was probably about four years ago in a game that um, we had played Sussex. And I know there's probably a lot of times where Travis probably wanted to throw a ball at my ribs or in between my numbers. And um, after the game, I, I kind of thought to myself, is this really the way that I, I want to, to be thought of? Because um, I'm very competitive. I hate to lose. Uh, but at the same point, we're, we're brothers on the field, despite the fact that we're not wearing the same uniform. So from that point forward, it kinda, I, I kind of realized what's truly important to me. It's not necessarily winning and losing, but being a good person. And um, speaking of that, I had the uh, honor of meeting with uh, the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar this past Monday, actually, and I asked him um, what did he want his legacy to be as a person. And he said, 
it's surprising to me. You know, I always thought Kareem, not, not really knowing him as a person, was kind of egotistical, but he's not. He, he basically said the legacy I want to leave is, is being a good husband, son, and uh, father. And one of his greatest accomplishments was sending all of his kids to college and all of them graduating with a, a college degree. So that was very awesome. And, I, and ironically, um, of all the things that, you know, Drew brought it up about, you know, baseball and keeping baseball top of mind and, and getting that popular with the, the kids, you, you think that part of the conversation with the, the greatest basketball player of all time would be about basketball, but we actually spent a lot of time talking baseball, of all things. Kareem is a huge Dodgers fan, but in any event, I don't want to ramble. I know uh, Willie and Craig said that they, they don't, one of the things that people didn't want was for this to take a long time, but um, I love I love the city of West Bend. I owe a lot to it, a lot to it. I didn't realize that Craig was going to dime me out and, and basically announce that this was my retirement tonight, but um, I don't consider myself a philanthropic person. Craig is probably more than, than myself, but um, appreciate the award, and thank you guys very much.